All right, I'm getting ready to make the uh, top piece now. And I got the leftover piece of uh, aluminum uh, clamped onto the mini pallet in the vise. Figured I'd try it out and see if I can hold it down. I don't have any little toe clamps yet, so I just made some pieces of plywood. And uh, I hope that's going to hold it good enough. All I'm going to do is skim that edge there to uh, square it up. At least I hope it'll square it up. I don't know how square I've got my vice and everything. It's if it's off just a little bit, it's going to show up. But we'll give it a try. Well, that squared it up about dead on, so we're in good shape. We'll mark it off now to bandsaw it down closer to size. About four and a half inches long. And three and fifteen sixteenths wide. Got it clamped back up on the mini pallet. We've got to take about 74 thousandths off that one side to uh, get it to size. So we'll start her up. Actually, that's about a perfect fit. I might have about a thousandths play. So I looked up on that one. Actually, it's going to sit like... Actually, it'll sit like this. Be bolted in into there. So it's going to be okay. All these seem a little tight. I may have to uh, read these holes out another 64th bigger just so everything goes together uh, centered up. We'll try again.
snug now. There we go. Now we need to mark the holes in the side here in the back of the upright and drill and tap those. I think what I might do instead of drilling those holes by hand is go ahead and take the upright off, take this nut off, and I believe this whole upright will come off. Take this off where I can lay it down on the drill press to drill these holes. Now I need to take this off. Well, how's that come off there? Got set screws on the other side, that's why. It slides on with a gib just like the headstock does. We'll clean that up and take it over to the drill press and drill the holes. I went ahead and drilled and tapped new holes here for the electrical box that were here, but they're going to be covered up with our top plate. So, in order to mount the electrical box, I had to re-drill and tap holes there. So now, I think we're ready to put the upright back on the base. We'll have to trim that tree once we get everything back together. Went ahead and made a little small transfer punch to go into the hole here where the ball screw nut goes to mark the top plate where to drill the center hole. I got a little bit of play there, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get it where it's supposed to be. 
Let's just slide this up and mark that. And then take this back off and uh, drill a hole, small hole. And then we can mark or figure out how to do the bearing holes, recesses. I can barely see it, but I can see enough to make a mark with the uh, punch here. Well, I believe my little transfer punch I made was a little too loose in the hole there. And I didn't trust it being lined up. I was getting ready to drill the hole in the top plate. And I said, well, I better double check it. So what I did was put the head on here and put the ball screw with the ball screw nut in the hole. And it is uh, pretty snug in the hole there. So it's not moving back and forth. And then I wanted to see if I could get the ball screw parallel to the upright, dovetail on the upright. So I just so happens I found some L-shaped aluminum brackets that I have a bunch of that are all the same thickness and uh, they measure about uh, 0 0.368 to 368.5 uh, or 3.685 so I've got two of those in there uh, rubbing the ball screw and the end of the ball screw rod is not lined up with the hole I made or the mark I made for the hole I don't know if you can see that or not probably have to raise this up a little bit I don't know if it's showing up in the camera or not I can't tell but the the mark I made is not in the center of this rod it's back towards the back a little bit about probably a little, little over a third so it's not quite in the center. So what I think I'm going to do is take a marker and just uh, run this ball screw up tight against that and just kind of draw a circle around it and use that to go by for finding the center to drill a hole. So I hope this is going to work. can't hardly see what I'm doing when I get this close with my glasses. Yeah, it made a mark on the top there. I think you can see it there. So we'll use that to go by to drill that hole. There's how far we off we're off with our hole from where I had marked it. Well I've got it marked as best I could. I think it's still off just a hair. I think that's too bad. That's pretty pretty close. A little bit off. But we'll try it and see. Actually pretty close we can still see a little bit of the uh, blue line around the edge of it so we're not off by a few thousands. Well after drilling this hole in the top plate I put it back on the upright and mounted it 
screws in it and ran the uh, ball screw rod right up to it and it would burn there perfect. So what I'm getting ready to do now is uh, machine out the uh, bearing pocket. Got a bearing pocket to cut on each side but leaving about uh, 93 thousandths between them. That's the way the other uh, part was that it was mounted in before. So I'm getting ready to cut that now. Now I've got to turn it over and uh, recenter the bit and do the, do the other side. Here we go, side two. Well, the bearings seem to fit pretty decent. 